The words of Eva Kaur are echoing around the world as we mourn her loss. Over the years, Eva has been a force for forgiveness and education. There are things she touched on in many interviews with us. News 10's Annie Johnston went through our archives to bring us Eva in her own words. If I ever concentrated on all the people who hurt me, I would never have a smiling face in my life. And I refuse to be a bitter, all bitter person. I want to be happy and I want to smile because I like smiling. What is there nothing had that power to forgive. It was mine to use as I wished. And that was a tremendous discovery for me. Even in the worst of circumstances, with a gun, with a machine gun. Eva Kaur talked often about forgiveness and its power to heal. I cannot change what happened. No one can change what happened. So I tell young people, don't give up. I did not give up in Auschwitz. I think that growing up, just plain growing up, it's a very difficult thing. At just 10 years old, Eva and her twin sister were the only Holocaust survivors in their immediate family. There are two choices in life when we face tragedy. Give in to despair or triumph over it. She ended up in Terre Haute, Indiana, where she tried to put the past behind her. Instead, she found forgiveness and brought the darkness of the Holocaust into the light. If you do nothing with the memories that we have had to endure, then why survive? I mean, if there is no lesson to be learned from it, then, then we can just crawl in a corner and cry all day long. Is that better? I cannot do it. I refuse to be a victim, and I will never volunteer again to be a victim. So I take power and control back over my own life. And that's exactly what she did. Eva founded the Candles Holocaust Museum and Education Center in 1995. It is my deepest hope that we, the people of Terre Haute, will be able to defeat those who hate us by impressing them with our message and make them our friends. Someone set fire to the museum years later. And again, Eva vowed to keep pushing forward with her message of hope. We are not going to give up teaching how to prevent hatred and prejudice, but like you now, I've got to cope with the mess that these people who hate have created. If they wanted to destroy us, they accomplished exactly the opposite. <laughs> We are going to come back. Since then, many people have walked the halls of the Candles Holocaust Museum. They've heard Eva's personal testimony on overcoming and making the world a better place. From my perspective, surviving and being able to live free of the pain and be even happy, it is a way to go. Then I see why I survived. Then it makes to me sense that I made all that effort to survive. And if I can teach the world how they can do it. In her final days, Eva was doing one of the Sing things she did best. Sing educating Sing others Sing with her clear, unwavering message of hope. If they want to create a better world, a more peaceful world, forgiveness is absolutely necessary. I call forgiveness a seed for peace, Anger, a seed for war. You have two opportunities to pay your respect to this champion of forgiveness. Two memorial services are planned for Eva Kaur. The public can attend the first on August 4th at Indiana State University in Terre Haute or the second on August 18th at Butler University in Indianapolis. You can learn more about these memorials and the life and legacy of Eva Kaur by visiting our website, WTHITV.com.